Hey, what's up guys? Nadia and Sans here for another very exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. Today, we're gonna be talking about audio. Now, you've heard me say this before, that audio is like 50% of video, technically. What you're seeing and what you're hearing are two very different things and they have to go together in order to achieve a good result. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions about audio filters and effects and that kind of thing, so today we're gonna be talking about the high pass and low pass filter. If you've never used these filters before, they can both be used to achieve stylistic elements when paired with video. For example, the low pass filters like when you hear music coming from inside a building but you're outside a building or you get hit in the head and like you hear the voices come in slowly talking about filters low pass filters and the high pass filter can be used when you're playing music out of a crappy speaker Either way, they're both pretty simple to use, and if you haven't used them before, today is gonna be a nice little lesson for you. Open up Adobe Premiere, cause we are getting started. All right guys, Adobe Premiere is open, and right here I've got a royalty-free music track that I was gonna drop down onto my timeline so we can get started. And the first one we're gonna take a look at is the low pass filter. So if we come over to effects and we type in low, under audio effects, low pass will come up. Now if you just drag and drop this right onto the audio track and you play it, you'll notice that it kind of mutes your audio a little bit already right off the bat. So that's exactly the effect that we're going for, but we're gonna control it by coming up to effect controls and we're gonna tool down cutoff up here so that we can adjust the parameters ourselves. Now for this example, I want it to start really low and then right after one bar of the music, I want it to kind of transition into full loudness. So let's listen. So right here, I want it to start. So I'm gonna set my keyframe here for the cutoff and I want it to finish by there. So now that we have our two keyframes, what we can do now is come back to our first keyframe and we can start adjusting the cutoff. Now, if you come all the way down to 10, this is your frequency range. You're going from 10 Hertz all the way up to 23,770 Hertz. So basically this is all of your low end frequencies on the left hand side. In the middle is gonna be your mid range frequencies and over here on the right is gonna be your high end frequencies. Now, I would recommend not ever coming really below 200 Hertz because you really won't be able to tell the difference between 10 and 200. And then when we come up to our ending point, I'm gonna have it finish at full loudness. So I'm just gonna crank this all the way up. Now, if you look at our keyframes here, you can see that these are linear keyframes, but I want this to be a little bit smoother than just linear. So what I'll do is right click on the keyframe, go to ease out for the first keyframe, and then right click on this one and go to ease in. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a curve in my frequency adjustments here. So now if I were just to play this, You can kind of tell that like you can't really hear it right here where we have it at 200. So I'm actually gonna mess with this frequency a little bit. Maybe we'll put it up at like 700 range. That's a lot better. But this transition curve, I don't really like the sound of it. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna pull this Bezier handle kind of over more towards the right hand side. So then that way it'll actually ease in on my volume. So let's try that now. So I like that, that sounds that sounds pretty good to me. So this is the kind of thing that you would use if you were filming something and you were walking from outside in a parking lot to inside a building where music's playing. As you're walking up to the door, you kind of hear it muted in the low pass. And then as you walk through the door, you transition into full loudness, full frequency spectrum range. And it's a cool little effect that you can do with not a lot of effort. The same goes with the example that we used at the beginning where if somebody gets hit in the head and they're kind of like coming to and you can kind of hear like the wonky voices coming in from the sides in the background, you're gonna to wanna to use a low pass filter for that. And you're gonna to wanna to just mess with the parameters of fading into full frequency spectrum loudness. And this is kind of gonna be up to you what you think sounds good. There's no right or wrong way to apply this to an audio track, but whatever you guys think sounds good, go with that. And the same applies with the high pass filter. So we'll just delete low pass off of here and we'll come back over to our effects and we're gonna type in high pass. You can just type in high and then under audio effects, high pass comes up, boom, we're gonna drop it right on there. And then right off the bat, you see, it sounds really tinny. It sounds just like really like cheap, like it's coming out of cheap speakers. And that's kind of the effect that you want when you're doing something with high pass. And then with the high pass, it'll default you at 1495. And in order to get to full volume loudness, you'll have to come from 1495 down to the 10 range. So if I were to actually just take this and we're gonna set it right here at default 1495, set a cutoff keyframe. And then I'm gonna come over to about here. And then I'm gonna set this down at 10. And then if you listen to this, Thank you. 
you'll see that it's coming in from the really high end, high range frequencies all the way down into a nice normal volume loudness here. So if you guys wanted to transition from the like crappy speaker sound into more full volume sound, you can absolutely do that. But I would recommend using this audio effect just to kind of achieve that like crappy speaker sound and you won't really have to do any automation at all. But if you are gonna automate it, it follows the same principles and parameters as the low pass filter. I know you guys have heard me say this before, but audio and video really do go hand in hand in order to make a great product. What you see and what you hear has to come together and melt into like a nice end product. So you have to pay as much attention to your audio as you are for your video. Now these little audio tricks are meant to give your video just a little bit more character, but they can also be used in more ways than just the examples from today. For example, if you have a music track that you have on a timeline and you have an interview on top of it, and you're kind of hearing that the interview is competing with the higher end frequencies of the audio track, you can drop a low pass filter on your music to kind of cut out the high end frequencies so it's not competing with your interview audio, and that'll save you a tremendous amount of time when you're actually mixing the whole thing down to make it sound good. I know, it's misleading being called video editing because you're not just editing video, there's a a lot more that goes into it, including audio. And I plan on doing a lot more audio tutorials in the future because it is such an important topic that I feel personally like I haven't really touched on a whole lot in the lifetime of this channel. But that's it guys, short and simple, high pass, low pass audio tutorial. Go out and use these techniques, even if you're just messing around and not doing anything with it. Understand how the cutoff works and how the filters work and just do some automation and kind of hear what it does to your audio tracks. More audio tutorials in the future, I promise you. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also so check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly at Learn How to Edit Stuff. Last week, I was in Poland for two weeks and I didn't really post, but I did some vlogs and you guys still got some content. All right, I don't want to hear about it in the comments. Don't get on my back about it. Subscribe, check out the last video that you missed and I'll see you next week.